it's Leisha from Caught by Design. Today I want to show you a couple of really neat tools in Silhouette Studio that you can use to create your own designs. We're going to start with a very simple shape, an oval, adjust the center of rotation, and then use the advanced replicate function to create a flower. Now while you can use the object on path to create a similar shape, I think you get a lot more control over it by using the advanced replicate function. Let me show you what I mean. The very first thing I'm going to do is to draw an ellipse, which will be my flower petal. So you see this icon right here. That is the center of rotation point. If I move this, it's going to rotate exactly around that point right there as if I had just placed a push pin in it and then moved the shape. Sometimes you'll see that icon and you don't know why or you don't want it and the easiest way to um, toggle it on and off is just by pressing O on your keyboard. Now if you uh, don't have an upgraded version of Silhouette Studio, say you're still working in Standard Edition, you're not going to see that center of rotation button. And um, you can also turn it on and off in your Preferences pane. If you open up the Preferences and look at the defaults, you have a checkbox here for center of rotation. So if it's checked, it will display, and if it's unchecked, it will not. So I want it on, and I'm going to move that um, center of rotation point. I'm just going to click on it and drag it, and I'm going to put it right here. Okay? Now before I replicate it, I'm going to make a copy so that we can use that in a minute. All right, now I want to make a flower, and we have to think about that for just a second. And you could do trial and error, but if you want to do the math of it, um, let's go into the replicate panel. I'm going to go to the second tab over, which is the advanced replicate. So a circle is 360 degrees. So however many copies I want, they're going to go around 360 degrees. And I have got one petal drawn. I'm going to make, say, a, a six-petal flower. So I'm, I've got one drawn. I need a total of six. So I'm going to make five copies. If I want those spaced equally apart, a 360-degree circle, divided by 6 is 60 degrees. Okay? Five copies, 60 degrees apart, replicate. And I get this. Now what if I don't want them to overlap? Well, I can even move that down a little further and then do the same thing. All of the copies will be separate unless you group them together or, let's see, I'm going to group these and move them out of the way. For this one, you could take and select it and then weld it and you'd have a nice little flower there. But that's just one of the things you can do by moving that center of rotation. And it's kind of fun, and, and so is the advanced replicate. There's just a lot of different things you can do with it. So I hope this has helped you a little bit. hope you'll get to play around a, a little bit with that function and see what all kinds of things you can come up with. Thanks for watching.